come to his eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
Here beginneth the seventh chapter of the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, stand in the gate of the Lord's house and proclaim there this word and say, Hear the word of the Lord, all you people of Judah, you that enter these gates to worship the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, amend your ways and your doings and let me dwell with you in this place. Do not trust in these deceptive words. This is the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord, the temple of the Lord. For if you truly amend your ways and your doings, if you truly act justly one with another, if you do not oppress the alien, the orphan and the widow, or shed innocent blood in this place, and if you do not go after other gods to your own hurt, then I will dwell with you in this place, in the land that I gave of old to your ancestors for ever and ever. Here you are, trusting in deceptive words to no avail. Will you steal, murder, commit adultery falsely, make offerings to Baal, and go after other gods that you have known, and then come and stand before me in this house, which is called by my name, and say, we are safe, only to go on doing all these abominations? Has this house which is called by my name, become a den of robbers in your sight? You know I too am watching, says the Lord. He rendeth the first lesson.
Here beginneth the ninth verse of the third chapter of the first letter of Paul the Apostle to the Corinthians. We are God's servants working together. You are God's field, God's building. According to the grace of God given to me, like a skilled master builder, I laid a foundation, and someone else is building on it. Each builder must choose with care how to build on it, for no one can lay any foundation other than the one that has been laid. That foundation is Jesus Christ. Now if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw, the work of each builder will become visible, for the day will disclose it, because it will be revealed with fire, and the fire will test what sort of work each has done. If what has been built on the foundation survives, the builder will receive a reward. If the work is burned, the builder will suffer loss. The builder will be saved, but only as through fire. Do you not know that you are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells in you? If anyone destroys God's temple, God will destroy that person. For God's temple is holy, and you are that temple. Here endeth the second lesson.
I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
Let us pray. On this dedication festival, our intercessions are adapted from the form in the 1926 prayer book for the consecration of a church. In them, the response to faithful God is glorify your name. Faithful God. Glorify your name. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who promised in Christ that in your house of prayer your name shall be there. Hear us through Christ as we pray for ourselves in our gathering together in your name in this house of prayer, that it may remain a sign of that covenant of steadfast love between us and you, faithful God. Glorify your name. For the reading and preaching of your word in this place, in your name, may it never be spoken in vain. May your people have grace to hear and receive your word as the means of their salvation. In all their words and deeds, may they seek your glory and the increase of your kingdom. Faithful God. Glorify your name. For those who in this place will confess their sins and receive absolution, who will pray to you and praise your name, let their prayers and praises come up before you and be accepted in your sight. Enlighten their understanding, purify their hearts, sanctify their spirits. What they ask faithfully according to your will, grant to them in your mercy to the setting forth of your glory. Faithful God, glorify your name. For all who will worship within this place, may they present their bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to you. May they themselves be temples of the Holy Spirit in which you will dwell forever. Faithful God, glorify your name. For all who shall be baptized in this place, May they always remain in the number of your faithful and elect children. Faithful God, glorify your name. For all who shall be confirmed in this place, may they be strengthened with the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, and daily increase in your Holy Spirit more and more until they come to your everlasting kingdom. Faithful God, glorify your name. For those who shall receive Holy Communion in this place, may they approach it with heartfelt repentance, with true faith, and living in charity with all. May they partake of Christ. May they be filled with your grace and heavenly blessing. May they obtain remission of their sins and all other benefits of his passion. Faithful God, glorify your name. For all who shall be married in this place, May they faithfully keep the covenant which is made between them and remain in perfect love and peace together unto their lives' end. Faithful God, glorify your name. For those who shall be ordained in this place, by your Holy Spirit, may they be so filled with the truth of your doctrine and clothed with righteousness that they may faithfully serve before you to the glory of your great name and for the benefit of your holy church. Faithful God, glorify your name. In our times of joy, in our days of sorrow, in our strengths and triumphs, in our weakness and at our death, in your saints in glory, and on the day of Christ's coming, faithful God, glorify your name. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.